Do I look tired? It's because I am. I don't know why I chose the bathroom to talk about it, just because of the lighting, I don't know. Okay, what is up? So it's um, pretty early slash late slash it's like 7.30 in the morning today and I'm getting ready to shower before I go to bed and I wanted to kind of talk about something. So I just went to go play VR on my Oculus Quest and I've had it for a little over a month. The batteries and the controllers just died for the first time. I've played uh, probably about 10 times and the batteries just now died so they've been sitting around for a while. Um, so. That's pretty good. The battery life on the Rift S controllers um, for Christians were pretty bad. Um, they would die after a few hours, so that's insane. Uh, but they ran out on the first song of Beat Saber when I just started trying to play, so that was that was rather unfortunate. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about, I don't know why I chose the bathroom to talk about it, just because the lighting, I don't know. I've started to hit a wall. It's been the past few days. I just, I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna sit. Thankfully, there's this little thing here. I'm just gonna hop up here. Yeah. Look at this lighting. The hell? Basically, I've uh, I've hit a little bit of a wall with streaming, and basically, it's come down to the fact that I'm having no one watching me again. And when people do come in, they don't stay for very long, and I don't know why. Um, I wish I did. I can't really just ask people. It's kind of weird. And it's not always the same people who come in, so it's hard for me to ask them why they don't stay. When I've been playing MC Eternal, it's been pretty good. Uh, but when I've been trying to branch out and do other things, like I played Apex today, I also played Air. I don't remember the subtitle for Air, but it's really it's a really good little indie game. But one person stopped in right at the end, uh, and unfortunately, that's all I saw. So the two viewers the whole time were my computer and my laptop. <laughs> so that's kind of disappointing to say the least. I wish that I would have viewers stick around for more than one game. When they did stick around, they would stay for more than one stream and stick around in that stream for longer. It's been a little rough. I ended up switching over to Air, which was really good and totally worth my time, um, actually. It was a really fun, like, three hours, three and a half hours. It was very fun. Uh, frustrating because I broke the game a couple times because it's a little indie game, but it was really nice. It's been a couple days where I just haven't felt like streaming because I wanted to play with friends or um, I didn't have friends to play with or whatever. And uh, and then not having viewers on top of that really doesn't help. If I were streaming by myself and I had chat to interact with and I had people to hang out with um, just via text chat, um, on Twitch or YouTube, that would make it a lot easier, but I just don't. Um, so I don't really have, I'm just sitting alone playing video games and commentating to no one. It's not the worst, but it definitely isn't ideal. So that's just kind of where I'm at over the past few days. It's been a little frustrating, kind of hard to deal with personally. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna shower now before I go to bed and hopefully I can go to bed not at like 10 in the morning. Um, hopefully at about 8.30 I'll be able to go to bed. Yeah, until the next clip of this vlog, whenever that is. I don't even know, if this is the first clip, clip, is this the last clip of the vlog? I don't know. I don't, days don't matter anymore. Time is irrelevant. <sighs> uh. Okay, what? is up. I've got Jimmy John's. I'm trying a different one today. You're on my cookies. I'm trying the roast beef, the Big John, the one of the signature Jimmy John sandwiches today. I've never had it before. Hopefully it's good. Ready, set, go. It's a weird way to hold this. It's definitely good. It's a lot of mayo and tomato on it, but I'm a fan. I, I like it. Now I have a new sandwich. I also have a cookie, so that's exciting. 
Okay, it's one of those nights. So I streamed Lego Batman earlier, and that was actually really fun. I had a little bit of trouble with it, uh, because, you know, it is an old game ported to PC. So it runs a little eh sometimes, but it was fun. Uh, and then I have watched four episodes so far of the um, Harley Quinn animated show. It finally came to HBO Max, and I really, really like that. Uh, if it's really fast. It feels really fast, even though it's 20-minute episodes like Archer. It feels like Archer in a lot of ways. Vulgar, violent, that sort of thing. Except it's still very, you know, DC superheroes, as it should be. And then I started watching a couple YouTube videos, um, and then I just thought about Halo, which I do from time to time, and I made a purchase. <laughs> it wasn't that much. Uh, it was a little less than 30 bucks. I bought two sets. I want to get particularly one of them before it, the price skyrockets, because I know it's going to, um, just because of the nature of the set. And then one is a brand new set, so the price shouldn't skyrocket too much, but... I got the uh, Arbiter vs. Mas Master Chief set, um, which came out the last Mega Constructs wave that came out. Um, it's Halo 2 Chief and Halo 2 Arbiter. Um, it's just a little battle pack of the two of them. I paid like double what it normally is, so it was like 16 to 18 dollars instead of the normal like nine. And then I also bought uh, the brand new Master Chief from Halo Infinite versus the Brute Warrior set, which is another one of those little versus battle packs. And um, that was for, for 10 bucks. Um, I ordered them on Amazon and Amazon's finally pushing back their shipping dates. So they're not pushing their workers as much. So that should come in about a week or so, a little over a week. Uh, and you might be like, Andrew, don't you already have an Arbiter and a Master Chief? Yes, I do. I have the anniversary ones, the collector's edition anniversary ones with the gold weapons. Um, and in this case, it's a gold Arbiter, not like grayish silver Arbiter from Halo 2 and 3, which is what I really want, because that's the Halo 3 Master Chief with Halo 3 armor for Arbor, just the wrong color. And then obviously I really want the new Infinite Chief because I am just so excited for that, and I think it's going to be great. Um, I also was looking at the Halo Heroes, uh, which is like their individual box minifigures. Uh, they are 4 to $5 a piece for one figure. They come with usually a weapon or two and a little stand. They have a new Series 12 of those, which is coming out in multiple places. Um, if you're lucky, you'll find them right now. They're not actually supposed to be out yet. But they have a Mark 7 figure. It looks like um, a Mark 5B helmet. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a, an updated version of, of Noble Six's armor. Uh, and it's got a red helmet and a red arm. And that figure looks awesome because it's the new Halo Infinite design for Spartans um, with this somehow nostalgic armor type with the red helmet and the red arm. And I'm a big fan because the rest of him is gray. And it looks so cool. Plus the new Elite Ultra comes with a very, very detailed plasma rifle, which I am personally very excited for because it's got a lot of like um, metal scrape detailing on it. And you know, it's gonna be like that big, but if it looks that good, that's crazy. I hate being a collector. I hate it, I hate it so much. I hate collecting stuff because it's a money pit, but it's so much fun. And I love having it out on the shelf where I can look at it. Except these boxes are in the way because I gotta do reviews and stuff, but man, I just, I like it a lot. Do I look tired? It's because I am. I just woke up after falling asleep early and I need to finish this edit today. That's fun. Let's talk about what I did for the week of this vlog. So this was week 61, which is pretty Crazy, I've been doing this for well over a year now. That's, boo. I won't go through every day individually because let's let's be honest, we're getting sick of that. I will go through a highlighted day, which was Tuesday, which was eight hours and 41 minutes total. Seven hours and six minutes of it was streaming, and another hour and 10 minutes plus some change was editing. So, pretty cool. And there was also a day where I didn't do anything on Friday. I took the day off, but I made up for it pretty much. Um, 
So the week 61 total was 2,213 minutes or 36 hours and 53 minutes in total. Not quite the 40 hours as usual, but honestly, I more than make up for it with weeks past and weeks after, so it's not that big of a deal. Good week, good week. I'm glad we've been doing this basically full time every week, it's been working out. So thank you for watching. Um, this is kind of a weird vlog, only three clips, but actually ended up still being pretty long because I talked my little head off. If you wanna subscribe for more vlogs, I do post about once a week. I do need to kind of catch up a little bit though. That's a whole thing. You can also check out my Twitch streams at the link down below. I stream basically every day of the week if you want to check that out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video if it was your favorite. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Take care. Oh.